Yeah. Yeah, you can get your own style. Like, no, no matter what you're doing, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. So that's the sound. What's your name? Shannon. Shannon. Yeah. It's a place in Ireland. Of course, I know. Right? <laughs> Shannon, yeah. the longest river in Ireland. Yeah, my mom's family comes from Ireland. Right? Is that a fact? Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that lovely? Yeah. You say, sir, are you hungry? Hungry? I said, I just got from I said, I could eat a horse. And he says, well, I haven't got a gun anyway, so he's... <laughs> So I sat down. And he says, "I said, I'll, I said, I'll just have a, uh, I'll just have a meat sandwich, mm -hmm. just a sandwich, so that you get in the cup." Right, right. My God, he goes away, and I'm sitting there, and he brings along this ice water, ice water in a brown glass. My God! And then he had these gherkins on the table, uh -huh. and so I had a couple of gher gherkins, <laughs> like, and, and they were really nice, like. Yeah. And then he brought this plate out, and it had twenty-seven slices of beef. Really? 20, and I counted them with a fork. One, two. It was like a bloody like pack of cards, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then he brought a salad out. And yeah. he put that, and I'm only five, I'm only, I'm only nine, nine, what am I, nine foot eight or something like that. And I only weigh eight stone, you know. Yeah. And I'm sitting there, and these fellas are next to me, like, you know, they, they all look like bloody all in wrestlers, you know. <laughs> but I look like a bloody referee. <laughs> 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 And then he brings out these potatoes, little baby potatoes, all covered yeah. in uh, sprinkled with butter and parsley. And as soon as I saw all that, and as soon as I had the gherkin, yeah. I lost my whole appetite. Lost the whole appetite. Really? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't eat it anyway. That, I just couldn't. So I got a dirty bag and put it all and took it back to the hotel. I don't know what happened there. I got robbed there. Yeah, I don't fun times there. But this is these oh, are only the modern ones, you know. Yeah. This is a newspaper in Wellington, New Zealand. Yeah, that was on the next oh, that's cool. Christmas Day, that was in the next sense paper. They didn't do it too big because like the average. Yeah. Couple that's and this one here. Show you this. This is and that's you won't believe this. That's me when I was twenty-two, you see. Oh yeah, that's cool! This was in London, a big, big Irish club in London. I think it happened in uh, the fucking map disease or something. On, like, in Irish yeah. football to Ireland, it's a cattle. Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. that's me when I was 22. Right? So, so when, when, when did you learn to play? As a little kid? Oh, I was there about eight or something, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, about eight, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I had four girlfriends at that time. <laughs> <laughs> I could, yeah, I four of them. I can't even remember the name. Well I, well, I went to London. I, I learned. I had to go to school in London, mm -hmm. and I learned how to play the accordion. So it was, it was a big oh. school, so yeah. done it for about six months. But it wasn't button accordion, but I had to learn a piano accordion because yeah. you could only do music. You know? mm -hmm. So that was pretty good. Yeah. So then I passed all that, and then I played all over London and London, England, London, Manchester, Liverpool, all those places. Yeah. And I went to Jersey games, see the Isle of Wight, Isle of Man, down to Cornwall. Wow. Well, it's you know, I used to put everything on the back of a motor. I had to be a motorbike and just just drive around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's I cool. Love it. Used to, I used to like Ireland, and Ireland was nice. Uh -huh. It was like, very popular in Ireland. The Irish love accordion. Mm -hmm. But I had to learn all the Irish reels and jigs. So I had to get a special accordion for that. Oh. That cost me three thousand pounds. Oh, really? I made that up. Yeah, isn't that nice? Here? Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I live in New Zealand, so I really? Cannot, yeah, I live in the South Island of New Zealand. It's just south of I don't know if you know your geography, but it's just south of Christchurch, you know. Oh. A big earthquake there a couple yeah. of years ago. I had another one there this year, as a matter of fact. Oh. Always getting that wow. earthquake. Yeah, yeah. It has to be like a baby in a crib one. I have to put sides on it so we don't fall out of the Yeah, really, really. But I only came over here because it's pretty cold in the Oh, it's winter. minus. It's minus five. Oh. Minus five when I left. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was snowing and the snow was coming down. So I, got, I was a bit worried, really, but I got to the airport and myself. And then just fly over here, like you know. Oh, cool! So I stay here. I just try, just go up and uh, yeah, I just door to door shuffle, and he just picks you up at your door, drives to the airport about two, two and a half more, uh, hours. Yeah. Pop in, put your stuff on, and yeah. New Zealand, drop you off here at the uh, airport. Mm -hmm. Go off there, get a train, bring me out yeah, here. Yeah, train. Yeah. Yeah, straight out, and I then. Put myself into the Waterloo Bay Hotel down there. Oh, cool! Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Thousand six hundred dollars for twenty-one days. Oh, that's it. I know, is it? No. Yeah. 
you know, it's not bad, is it? No, no, that's well. really good. Actually. Go down to the bar and have a meal, have a few drinks, you don't have to worry about yeah. dream, driving, I can just come upstairs. Yeah. Walk down, stag it up like you know. Yeah. No, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what do you do when you're here? <laughs> yeah. You know what? He's a he's a he's a funny old bloke, isn't he? Really? Yeah, a, you know, he is. He gets on the plane, gets off the plane, and his tires and his tires going. You know, and his tires going like this. <laughs> You know, and it's like this, and his bloody hair doesn't even move. He must be, he must, he must be using a lot of hairspray, fly spray, I'd say. Yep. That makes your hair stick down, like, you know. Yeah, it does really fly spray, like, you know. That's but funny. But he's all right. And he says, uh, he gets up and he says, uh, we'll make America great again. I wrote my letter. I said, well, what was it before you came on the bloody scene? <laughs> Yeah, what was it like before he came on the track? Oh, they could parade again. Yeah. I said, I got a bloody wallet like that. Yeah. <laughs> I can hardly pick a teaspoon. He said, well, what he said, Jim, yeah, take this bottle of tablets, come back and see me in a couple of days. So I went back in a couple of days and he says, we have to get on. I said, well, Dr. Eckbert, I said, you know that bottle of tablets you gave me to give me the strength? He says, yes. I said, well, I can't get the top off the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Lovely seeing you, Shannon. Right, and Tim. See you, buddy. I'll see you on your travels, eh? Yeah.